morning. Good morning and welcome to our service of morning prayer on Tuesday the 14th of July. As we remember John Keeble, priest, tractarian and poet, this morning. As we prepare for our time together. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all our, your sins and heals all your infirmities, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion, who satisfies you with good things, so that your mouth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He has made his way known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding, and hearken to the voice of his world. word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. <clears throat> As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. The appointed psalm for today is Psalm 106. Alleluia! Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious, for his faithfulness endures forever. Who can express the mighty acts of the Lord, or show forth all his praise? Blessed are those who observe what is right, and always do what is just. Remember me, O Lord, in the favour you bear for your people. Visit me in the day of your salvation. That I may see the prosperity of your chosen and rejoice in the gladness of your people and exult with your inheritance. We have sinned like our forebears. We have done wrong and dealt wickedly. In Egypt they did not consider your wonders nor remember the abundance of your faithful love. They rebelled against the Most High at the Red Sea. But he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his power to be known. He rebuked the Red Sea, and it was dried up, so he led them through the deep as through the wilderness. He saved them from the adversary's hand and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. As for those that troubled them, the waters overwhelmed them. There was not one of them left. They believed his words and sang aloud his praise. But soon they forgot his deeds and would not wait for his counsel. A craving seized them in the wilderness and they put God to the test in the desert. He gave them their desire but sent a wasting sickness among them. They grew jealous of Moses in the camp and of Aaron, the Holy One of the Lord. So the earth opened and swallowed up Dathan, and covered the company of Ibram. A fire was kindled in their company, and the flame burnt up the wicked. They made a calf at Horeb, and worshipped the molten image. Thus they exchanged their glory for the image of an ox that feeds on hay. They forgot God their Saviour, who had done such great things in Egypt. Wonderful deeds in the land of Ham, 
and fearful things at the Red Sea. So he would have destroyed them had not Moses, his chosen, stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath from consuming them. Then they scorned the promised land and would not believe his word, but murmured in their tents and would not heed the voice of the Lord. So he lifted his hand against them and swore to overthrow them in the wilderness, to disperse their descendants among the nations and to scatter them throughout the lands. They joined themselves to the Baal of Peor and ate sacrifices offered to the dead. They provoked him to anger with their evil deeds and the plague broke out among them. Then Phinehas stood up and interceded and so the plague was stayed. This was counted to him for righteousness throughout all generations forever. They angered him also at the waters of Meribah so that Moses suffered for their sake. For they so embittered his spirit that he spoke rash words with his lips. They did not destroy the peoples as the Lord had commanded them. They mingled with the nations and learned to follow their ways, so that they worshipped their idols and became to them a snare. Their own sons and daughters they sacrificed to evil spirits. They shed innocent blood the blood of their sons and daughters, which they offered to the idols of Canaan, and the land was defiled with blood. Thus they were polluted by their actions, and in their wanton deeds went whoring after other gods. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, and he abhorred his inheritance. He gave them over to the hand of the nations, and those who hated them ruled over them. So their enemies oppressed them, and put them in subjection under their hand. Many a time did he deliver them, but they rebelled through their own devices, and were brought down through their wickedness. Nevertheless, he saw their adversity when he heard their lamentation. He remembered his covenant with them, and relented according to the greatness of his faithful love. He made them also to be pitied, by all who had taken them captive. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting and to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen, Alleluia. Holy God, when our memories blot out your kindness, and we ignore your patient love. Remember us, remake us, and give to us poor sinners the rich inheritance of Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Before our Gospel reading from Luke, we have the Song of Peace as the Canticle. The refrain, Spirit of God, teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. Come, let us go up to the mountain of God, to the house of the God of Jacob, that God may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For the law shall go out from Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. God shall judge between the nations, and shall mediate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war no more. O people of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Spirit of God, teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. Our reading this morning is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 19 
verse 41 to the end. As he came near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, If you, even you, had only recognised on this day the thing that made for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. Indeed, the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up ramparts around you and surround you and hem you in on every side. They will crush you to the ground, you and your children within you, and they will not leave within you one stone upon another, because you did not recognise the time of your visitation from God. Then he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there. And he said, It is written, My house shall be, be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Every day he was teaching in the temple. The chief priests, the scribes and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him. But they did not find anything they could do, for all the people were spellbound by what they heard. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Gospel Canticle, the Benedictus. They were faithful unto death, and God has given them the crown of life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteousness, righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. They were faithful unto death, and God has given them the crown of life. Come to our time of prayer for the day ahead, for the world the church and for the sick. Let us pray. We pray for all God's grace. Lord, receive our praise and hear our prayer. Lord God, through your grace we are your people. Through your Son you have redeemed us. In your Spirit you have made us your own. We pray for your church, your church around the world, your church here in England, your church here in Manchester, your church here in Radcliffe, your church in our scattered homes. 
make our hearts respond to your love. Lord, receive our praise and hear our prayer. We pray for the world and all its needs. At this time, as the COVID crisis continues unabated in many parts of the world, we pray for the leaders of all nations. And we pray for especially those in government, national and local, in those parts of the world where the virus is seemingly out of control. Give them wisdom. Give them strength. Give them fortitude. Lord, make our lives bear witness to your glory in the world. Lord, receive our praise and hear our prayer. We pray for all those we know who are sick and all those we know to be in need, sick in mind, body or spirit, those who are isolated and alone, those whose mental health is suffering, those who feel separated from you. Lord, make yourself known to them, your arms of comfort around them, your love manifest in their lives. Make our wills eager to obey and our hands ready to heal. Lord, receive our praise and hear our prayer. Lord, on this new day, we give you thanks for everything that lies ahead of us. We give you thanks for the night that's passed, for the day ahead. We give you thanks that we are able and free to come before you now as a church and offer our prayers and praise. Make our voices one with all your people in heaven and on earth. Amen. Our collect for today, Tuesday the 14th of July. Father of the eternal word, in whose encompassing love all things in peace and order move, grant that as your servant John Keevil adored you in all creation, so may we have a humble heart of love for the mysteries of your church, and know your love to be new every morning. In Jesus Christ your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Saviour taught us, so together we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We come to the conclusion of our time together this morning. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for being with us. I hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs>